Compost is an excellent source of organic matter, which builds well-structured soils that support strong, healthy crops and that have a reduced shear strength, making cultivations easier to carry out. The wrap digestate and compost in agriculture experiments showed that after nine years of repeated compost applications, the soil shear strength was reduced, improving workability and potentially reducing farm fuel bills. The experiments also showed that compost produced the same level of change in soil organic matter levels as farmyard manure in half the time and using less material. This supports the theory that compost is more resistant to breakdown because of its higher lignin content. Compost can also help to reduce the use of inorganic fertilizers. It delivers valuable quantities of phosphorus and potassium and whilst the amount of readily available nitrogen delivered with the first compost application is small, the experiments have shown that repeated applications over time will increase the nitrogen supplied naturally from the soil. When considered together, the increase in soil organic matter and the supply of valuable crop nutrients deliver soils with a greater yield potential. There are two main types of compost used in UK agriculture today green compost and green food compost. Green compost is created in open-air windrows from landscaping and garden waste. The material is screened, shredded and composted at high temperatures, which is achieved through regular turning to ensure that any weed seeds are destroyed. The end product is a dark, moist, friable material. Green food compost is produced in vessel as it contains both food and garden waste and is composted in carefully controlled conditions governed by the animal byproducts regulations. Shredded material is composted in a sealed tunnel for two to four weeks, reaching temperatures of up to 70 degrees centigrade. This speeds up the composting process and kills any harmful microbes. The material is then composted for a further one to three months. Farmers and growers who want to use PASS 100 Quality Assured Compost should source their material from composters accredited under the UK's Compost Certification Scheme. A list of producers is available from the scheme's website. Good practice guidance on using compost, as well as more information on the results from the field experiments, can be found at www.rap.org.uk/dc-agri.